A Lexington-based women's ministry will showcase its love for its surrounding community with a free food, clothing, and family fun event this Saturday. Swirl Ministries will host its sixth annual Swirl Community Day event at the Breeden Insurance Amphitheater in Lexington. Founders Ceci Morcom and Bernie Young said their organization reaches families who may struggle due to job loss, addiction, domestic violence, and more. Um, we try to empower uh, the individual to do better. Um, and we have different programs to do that. We have Bible study. We uh, have a pantry. We give out food. We deliver. The Community Day event is a family-friendly block party where Christ is the center. More than 10 nonprofits and organizations, including Davidson Medical Ministries and the Salvation Army, will be there to help connect families to housing, financial, and medical resources. I've been in Lexington all my life, and we know we live in hard times today. Uh, things don't seem to get any easier for a lot of people, and even the homeless popularity has grown in Lexington because the jobs were taken away years ago, and just life in general. Some people lose their jobs or they got sick, and uh, we just want to help whoever we can. We there will be a groceries giveaway, live entertainment, and games for the kids. The event kicks off at 3 p.m. and will end at 6 p.m. For details on the service groups that will be present, just look for the story on our website, WFNYNews2.com. Um, I think this is a really great event that they're having. Uh, the founders of Sorrel Ministries were saying there's so many resources in Davidson County and Lexington that are out there to help people with housing, to help people with financial needs, but a lot of people are just not aware of those resources. So to bring everybody in one place, having fun as the attraction, giving out free groceries and things like that, it's a great way to pull the people in. I don't know if it's just me and that because we're in this business and we see it a lot, uh -huh. it seems to me like we have more help for people these days than I've ever heard before. Yeah. Like more programs like this, even mm -hmm. if it's a smaller organization and not Samaritan Ministries or whatever, we, we have small little organizations and mm -hmm. churches that are trying to help out constantly, which is great. I just don't, I think we're at a peak or something. And I think a lot of it came about during the pandemic yes. and yes. afterward you know mm -hmm. a lot of people a lot of people really suffered during the pandemic and a lot of these groups I don't know if this one specifically but a lot of groups got help <coughs> from the federal government from mm -hmm. the state government with some of these COVID relief um, uh, programs and, yes. yeah so I mean I think it really jump-started more relief efforts and I just love seeing people wanting to give back mm -hmm. you know a lot of people you know take 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 but there's so many more people that want to give 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 so I think it just helps our community continue to mm -hmm. grow and go around and mm -hmm. do the right thing not because yep. it's a tax break they do it because they because they to want people. to yeah mm -hmm. right